Well, hello there again, it is Matthew McDonald here, the real video guy, just for the sake of it. Quick tip on uh, using Facebook image sizing for your posts. If you are posting uh, to Facebook your uh, affiliate links pro or you are doing any kind of post to Facebook, I've just got a quick video here to help you with the size. I did also previously uh, a few months ago, I wrote a quick little article here on Facebook on image size that really works. So super quickly, 12, uh, 1200 by 630 is what I've found to be really consistent. And I actually found that better than uh, some of the other things people are saying out there. And you've got to think about different, different platforms and different uh, devices that people use. Uh, when they're on Facebook. So 12, uh, 1200 by 630, it's actually quite large when you look at the size of a post. Larger is often better with Facebook. And if you're looking, even if you're using like a video 16 by now, nine, a video cover size, that's still gonna look really good as well. And most of it will be in the, in the picture. But if you go for 12, uh, 1200 by 630 that's going to work. Also if we look at the affiliate links pro here I'm uh, in an affiliate link here. I'm on the publisher tab down the bottom here and I wanted to make this video so I can show it to you. We've got we've got the preview of what the actual image is going to look like. Now you can change this image uh, from your link setup. So go into your link setup here You've got your product image and you can put in a URL to any image or then you can use your media library just from there. So back in the publisher tab, below here we've got Facebook debugger tool. So giving that a click and you actually want to do this also if you're ever changing an image and the old image is loading up on Facebook when you share it, well you need to do this uh, to refresh or to cache Facebook cache the image that Facebook has for your affiliate link. So here we go. The first time you'll, you'll be here, you'll need to just uh, click the debug. If you're coming back here, you'll need to uh, click scrape again. So if you have any errors and those sort of things, I've actually noticed with Facebook, sometimes this tool doesn't work flawlessly and you might have to scrape it a couple of times before you get the accurate data that's there at the moment by clicking scrape again and that should uh, check that your image is good and down here you can actually see what what it's collecting what Facebook is collecting from your affiliate link so if I wanted to change this image just really quickly I'll finish it off with this at the moment Let's see if I've got one I can use here. That'll do. So now that image looks quite nice. But if I was to uh, share this on Facebook, and there is a button to share it from here, you can see the old image is still coming up. So what I want to do is, let's just leave that. I'm going to open up the Facebook debugger tool. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've changed the image. So if I was doing this the first time, nine out of 10, the image is gonna come up. Almost 10 out of 10 now, it used to be a little bit more random. But here I'm gonna click scrape again. So this is like caching the Facebook uh, data on your site, what it has. And look at this, I've got an error here. Let's go again, all the information is correct. So that's good, you saw that in real life. And you can see nothing's changed on my site and now it's all working. So here we go, we've got the new image here ready to go. So now when I go back to my Affiliate Links Pro and we just click the Facebook button here to share it, you can see that new image is there ready to go. So let's put here, you can still pick up Affiliate Links Pro early bird, don't miss out. That sounds really pitchy, doesn't it? And what I might do is I will put the link there as well. So I just copy that.
there we go, we're done. And if I actually go to Facebook, let's see it. It's come up there. There you go, you can see it in the timeline. There we go. That's it for this video. So just to wrap it up, uh, the size you want to go for is 12, 1200 by 630 pixels. Personally, I don't use it that specific to the pixel, but I go for more of a landscape. I go 16 by now, nine. Usually I just do screen, screen prints, but if you're using an image, the larger the image, the better, and you, you generally get better results with a landscape setup, ideally 1200 by 630. So that's it for this video. Matthew McDonald here. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in another video very soon.